since the dawn of time, man has been, a uh, kind of intelligent. Yeah, uh, people aren't that very smart. Specifically, little people. Wait, let me rephrase that. Children aren't that smart. I mean, they're growing up. Cut them some slack. I love you, wee man. No hard feelings, alright? This is no exception with your boy. So let's, let's start with the beginning. There was this time when I indirectly decked this kid in the face in kindergarten. Eric, you're probably thinking, how do you just let out 100% of a smash into someone with no intentions? Let me explain, my friends. Well, cooping a dozen, you know, five-year-olds inside a classroom is asking for trouble. They need a way to unleash their energy. So whenever my teacher said that we were heading outside, you know, for recess and whatnot, I threw my hands up, and my tiny balled up fists just... Okay. Oh. Alright, I'm, I'm done. No more references, I swear. That little episode kinda shook me, so I tried to keep my hands where they needed to be. Sort of. So that air quote sort of was a segue to my second topic. I wouldn't put my arms in places that they needed to be. I don't know. The challenge, the discovery, the excitement. It was a drug. And I needed more. Don't do not do drugs, kids, please. If, uh... If you're suffering with uh, addiction, go to, uh... Go to counseling. Go somewhere. Drugs aren't a joke. Uh... Yeah. Um... Alright, so first time. You know, sometimes in shopping malls, they would have things to keep kids busy and occupied, so overly drained parents could get five seconds of peace before their kid starts reeing again. Alright, so our mall had a tiny little train, and with these trains, they had small little windows with these slight gaps. I don't need it. Please, I don't need it. As you can tell, I didn't learn from this. I got my arms stuck for a second time. This time, it was in a chair. I was in a tutoring class thing, and the teacher was going to call the fire department to come. This is where I die. But she had the idea to get some butter and slipped my arm out without any problem. And I'm pretty sure that's where my whole, you know, putting arms and things stopped. So no more arm things, I promise. But this one is a big oof. And, uh, no judging, alright? I dropped my brother's dog in a pool. I thought the dog was going to swim, alright? But the poor guy was just wigging out. I was pretty shook as well. I didn't want to drown the pupper, so I snapped out of it and turned myself into The Rock Johnson from the hit movie Baywatch and saved that dog. He's okay, and he's safe. I'm good with animals, I swear. See, look, this one's fine. Say hi, Timber. So for all of those, I was relatively young, but I still do dumb things all the time. Like this one time when I kicked this dude's drink. I was out with the boys one day, and we came across this lone cup just sitting on a curb. I don't know what was going on in my mind, but I decided to kick it. Turns out, it was actually someone's drink. Wait, dude, did you just Sparta kick my drink? Uh, um, that was yours? Yeah. Jeez, I'm really sorry. Can I buy you another drink? Uh, if that's cool? No, it's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> I drink! <laughs> just... <laughs> I felt pretty guilty after that, so I just T-posed out of there. I'm sorry, guy, if you're watching this. In high school, I also drew on a whiteboard. With permanent marker. Feels bad, but they did get it off. That teacher always brought it up, though. For this last one, I'm pretty sure my IQ dropped to like 30. I was over at my local B-dubs. 
That's what the cool kids call Buffalo Wild Wings. And we were about to get our orders taken. As you can probably tell, I'm not really good with words, so ordering was even a challenge for myself. I told him what I wanted, then I was faced with the most difficult question in existence. It wasn't a question like how to get rich quick, live forever, or get superpowers. It was... Would you like ranch or blue cheese with that? Uh... Yes. What? I'll just take the ranch, please. Alright, I'll, I'll get that for you. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Just to su Eric, we need to get you out more often. So hi, how are ya? Um, yeah, this was a thing, and I want to thank Moz for recording some lines for me. It definitely means a lot, and it was fun doing this project. Um, you could probably tell it was a bit longer to make, which uh, I'm sorry about. I started school, and I'm at work 30, 25 hours, give or take. Um, and that's a pain. Windows is giving me alerts. Stamp. And, yeah. I finally got some time to finish this video, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, so, there's that. And I want to thank you guys for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. That really means a lot, and I'm looking, to for bleh, I'm looking forward to seeing where the channel goes now. So, if you're new, and um, you liked this content, uh with your boy Moz and myself. Take a look at my channel and feel free to subscribe. I am hoping uh, to see you around and uh, yee. Alright, sleep well.